decided to paint Ruth. As we know from the Bible, Ruth had lost her husband and moved with her mother-in-law to a foreign land. They were both widows, and since women in that society had a hard time making a living, they both struggled to survive. So one morning, Ruth went into a field to glean some grain for her and her mother-in-law to eat. According to the law of that day, the poor were allowed to come to any grain field and gather what was left over after it had been harvested. Purple color was rare in that day and was associated with royalty. I decided to paint Ruth in purple because of what was to come in her life. She was to marry Boaz and become the mother of Obed, from whose descendants Jesus was to come. So Ruth was to become a part of the lineage of Jesus, the King of Kings. That's why she is clothed in royal robes. But her eyes are closed, and she was blind to what God was about to do in her life. But she had faith that God cared for her and would work things out for good. And so she clung on to that hope, hence her hands clinging on to the purple robes. Ruth is standing in a field full of grain, as compared to the harvested field with only some grain left, that we would expect when someone is gleaning. When Ruth gleaned in the field, she met Boaz, and he gave her a lot of grain out of his generosity. This is to show the abundance of things that God had in store for her, and how overflowing his love is. Ruth represents anyone who is marginalized or looked down upon in any way, the poor, women, foreigners, and others. God cared for Ruth, 
just as he cares for anyone else marginalized. God even allowed Ruth, a foreigner, to become a part of the lineage of Jesus. That is to show that God doesn't discriminate against people based on their origin, race or background. God loved Ruth and worked the bad things in her life for her good, allowing her to meet Boaz through those circumstances, become a part of the lineage of Jesus, and be remembered to this day. And we know that God works all things together for the good of those who love Him, who are called according to His purpose. Romans 8, 28.